It's all about Model Y today, as Elon revealed Tesla's latest vehicle to the world. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 504 for March 15th, 2019. This show is sponsored by my supporter Richard at the sponsor tier level, and I thank him very much for his above and beyond support. So uh, after that uh, extended history, history lesson, uh, <laughs> what, what, what about the actual, the actual reason you came? Okay. There's a missing car. <laughs> it's, it starts with a Y, <laughs> ends with a Y, and that's Y in the middle. <laughs> Bring out the Model Y. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this show is completely about covering the unveil of the Model Y, and it is, much as was expected, a slightly inflated Model 3, but with a couple surprises. Elon spent nearly the first full half hour waxing poetic on Tesla's history, which when the YouTube video posts is definitely worth watching if you're a newbie to the company. But then, finally, in a glorious roughly six minute intro to the world, Model Y was revealed. Elon begins by talking safety as he did with Model 3. Like the 3, uh, it, it, it will be extremely safe, so that the, you may know that the Model 3 uh, has the, uh, the lowest probability of injury of any car ever tested by the uh, US government. Um, the Model Y, we expect, will have a, a similar result. Uh, five stars in every, ca every, every category. With the battery pack alone, low in the floor, it's gonna have a very low center of gravity. So this will, it, 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 it has the, the functionality of, a, of an SUV, but will, it will ride like a sports car. The functionality of an SUV, but rides like a sports car. That is a great quote right there. And if you're a fan of the crossover style of vehicle, it should give you goosebumps hearing it. And speaking of that performance, let's hear about what Performance Model Y can do. It's also going to be have incredible performance. So we expect to have a, a three and a half seconds, zero to 60. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's good. <laughs> um, and uh, very low center of gravity, so great, great uh, handling. Uh, it's, it's testing out at a 0.23 drag coefficient, which is extremely good for an SUV. That drag coefficient is pretty bonkers. To give you an idea, the Model 3 also did 0.23, which was the best Tesla had ever done to that point, and they found a way to do it again with a crossover that has a bigger body. This explains the range that we can get out of the long-range rear-wheel drive model, which we get to hear about next. So we expect to have an EPA range of, uh, an actual true usable range of 300 miles. So with those performance particulars out of the way, what's the inside like? Well, Elon dropped, at least for me, what was a bit of a surprise with this one. So it's going to have a panoramic gra glass roof. It like really feels like, just like the Model 3, if you're in the car, it just feels like you're, you can see the sky. Uh, seat, seat 7, 66 cubic feet, um, obviously autopilot and you know, all that. Wait, what? Available 7 passenger seating? Well, that was definitely a surprise to me. I didn't think there'd remotely be a possible way to squeeze seven into this car, but here we are. All right, so you've heard enough, and you want one. Here's the particulars on that. First, we'll listen to Elon talk about it, and then I'll give you the whole rundown. So, yeah. Um, the, 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 the basically long-range one we expect to be about $47,000, and then sometime in 2021, we'll have the, the sort of standard version, which will be, have a $39,000 price point. So that's the vanilla description, but you come to me for details, right? I've got you covered. The base $39,000 US vehicle will get 230 miles of estimated EPA range, do 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds, and top out at 130 miles per hour. The next step up, the long-range rear-wheel drive version, starts at $47,000 US, nets you 300 miles of estimated EPA range, gets you to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, and also tops out at 130 miles per hour. Stepping up to long-range dual motor will set you back $51,000 US, drops your range back to 280 miles of estimated EPA range, gets you from 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, and tops out at 135 miles per hour. Lastly, the performance trim starts at a cool $60,000 US, still retains that 280 mile estimated EPA range, though who in the world will actually get this, because it can rocket you from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and reach a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Too much fun to ever get that kind of range number. As to the rest of the options for the car, it's near identical to Model 3. The same wheel selections are there, 18-inch arrows are standard with the optional 19-inch sport version, and then the 20-inch version of that same wheel comes on the performance model. That aforementioned 7-passenger seating is a $3,000 US option, and is really the only difference in optioning between Model 3 and Model Y. 
Otherwise, it's pretty much choose your drivetrain, choose your wheels, choose your interior and exterior colors, and pick what level of autonomy you're wanting and hit the order button. One other slight design difference between the cars is that there's no chrome anywhere. Everything that was chrome on the Model 3 is blacked out on Model Y. This will make Chrome Delete fans extremely happy. That order button I mentioned, by the way, is available now, and it would appear that the reservation system we saw with Model 3 has gone away as they're asking for a $2,500 US fully refundable deposit, just like they would with a car you can own in the next couple weeks. So if you want to go in and play around and configure your own Model Y, head over to Tesla's website and check out the design studio. Hopefully, Tesla's servers can handle the crush. Per the design studio, production of the trim levels available currently in the design studio will begin in late 2020, and the standard range model will begin production in early 2021. Okay, that'll do it for the reveal. What do you guys think? What were your biggest surprises and disappointments? Definitely hit me up on Twitter, and let's chat. We are bringing sexy back quite literally. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's all for today's show. As usual, a word about Foam Daddy takes us home. Foam Daddy is a nationwide company in the U.S. that sells and rents foam and snow machines. They're also proud to announce the arrival of the Real Snow Machine. This allows anyone to produce real snow in any temperature. Check them out at FoamDaddy.com. My many thanks as well to our super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level at patreon.com slash tesla tidbits, including brand new super patron Bien Concepcion. They join Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sportline, Michael Pastroni, Travis and Cheyenne Rush, Cookie UK, Chris Hovis, Craig Murphy, Vicky Kirk, and Ricky Johnston. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again on Monday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.